Hello everybody and welcome to Talking Bola. Now Malaysia is officially out of the Asian Cup 2023. We cannot place higher than 4th because the two teams we have already lost to them and South Korea which we haven't played in this group yet we mathematically cannot place ahead of them. Therefore placing us out of the Asian Cup. Malaysia cannot go any more further and what was the causes of this? I'm going to delve into that. I'm going to talk about the goalkeeper. I'm going to talk about Coach Kim Pangon. But first of all, I am so proud for, for all these players donning this very jersey for the first time since 42 years in the Asia's biggest stage. I can tell you that right now. I'm so proud of them. The way we got here and the way that they showed their fighting spirit. But ultimately, fighting spirit sometimes isn't enough to win football games. Trying hard sometimes isn't enough when we are not good enough or certainly not at the level to play the football the coach wants to play. And there is a few problems with it. You can say that the uh, infrastructure um, is not good enough. The coaching, I don't think the coaching is necessarily the um like rubbish i think it, they get quite good quality coaching but it's not often that we have an international break it's very very hard to you know develop tiki taka football in a short period amount of time and coach kim pangon he's done a lot to adapt to it you know he's very very his cv is quite good he was the director of football for south korea who are going to play next in the group but when you look at these statistics, you've got to question. They're on the right hand side of this. They're on the right hand side of the screen, and I can also look at it as well. Sixty six point two to thirty three. That's a third of the all the possession. That's our entire third less possession. Malaysia has got less than Bahrain, and you got to think why. Is it because the high line that we played? It because it might be really because it can't be the back five because we've reverted from a back three to a back five it, it could be that actually because we have more possession than jordan this time we couldn't we had less possession but we also look more threatening it's almost like the players they can't really switch on at, at, at a certain time they switch on and then and then like stuff like that also, I'm just very, very disappointed. I, I you know, I, I, I lack of words to go and, you know, talk more. We had one shot on goal. And my word, that one shot on goal could have really changed this complexion of the game. Because Bahrain would have played a lot more differently. I can tell you that, that certainly. Because Paulo Josue, has he had he be able to take that first touch? Right? Had he been able to take that first touch first time? I, I think we would have scored. Easy, I would have scored from that distance. If you give me that same ball, I could have scored from that distance. You know, but apart from that, why are we letting them conceding so many chances at goal? When you concede so many chances, right, you are inevitably going to score. And, Malay and Malaysia are lucky to actually lose by one nil. What, by one goal, as opposed to three or four. Because we could have really you know, do it, do, do that. We could have really lost by that much. We, it, it was just such a plucky result. And we've almost plucked out a 1-0 win. And it's almost like very, very frustrating uh, in that sense. We also couldn't create anything in the second half. The second, the first half, I was confident that from the very first half, right? From the first half, if we could play the way that we did in the we did in the second half in the second half the way we did in the first half i was confident that malaysia could at least get something we almost just sat back at the back we sat back at the back and we've just gone no we are going to settle for a draw what is a draw going to benefit malaysia in this competition we need to the coach yesterday said we are going to play our football sitting from the back after what you told me to do, what you all said about, oh, we want to play our way of football, scoring 4 5 nil. We had nil on the scoreboard. We had nil on the scoreboard. You couldn't, you couldn't do it more 
it, you, you, the words that he uses is sometimes very, very condescending. You know, it's very, very condescending, and and you know, it leads to a little bit of um confusion, and you go to go hmm. And that doesn't look right. Uh, we also con we also consider more fouls than Bahrain. It's almost like we're looking for for yellow cards. I'm actually kind of lucky that we didn't get more yellow cards. To be fair, because we're fouling here, there, everywhere, and I think only two players got booked. I think Charlie Putiaba and uh and the other one. But we 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 lost we we lost that battle. We lost that midfield battle. Stuart Wilkin. I actually wanted to put him on the can improve list today. From from the man of the match to the can improve list. I really wanted to. But but I just couldn't because of that chance. Why would I put him on that list? I thought he would build on the progress that he did. Um there was a lot of hype from him after that first game. He played really well against Jordan. He was probably one of the our best players. He was probably the best player on the pitch. But today, there's a lapse of service. He lost the physical battle. And it's just, you know, he couldn't supply, he couldn't, we, the all the journalists back in Malaysia, they were asking for coach to replace Shamir, to replace uh, Afik Fazil, who couldn't sustain Stuart Wilkin to Shamir Kutiaba because they play, they con they complement each other well. They used to play club football together. My God, what bollocks were they talking about? Because that was not complementing well each other. They had to get one off. They had to get what? They had to get Shamir Kutiaba off, and he had to run around for the same pitch. You know, you see, like websites. You know, Opta. He was the lowest rated player on Opta. He couldn't win a single battle against the Bahraini midfielder. Mahun had him in his pocket the whole game. He, he couldn't win that battle. And when you can't win that battle, you know, it's okay to just hoof long balls. Bahrain were just hoofing long balls. And, and also, that high line. You can't win that midfield battle. That high line. The young coach should have been punished. At least two times in this game. I think of the one where the, there was a lot of a penalty shout that um, was should have been given to Bahrain in the first half. And Dominic Tan, my God, Dominic Tan. I'll talk to him a little bit later. But Dion Kuz, right? They, they, these players, a high line, you need to have players who can track that really, really quickly. And I don't think Dion Kuz... Today, he can do that. Certainly not Matthew Davis. I don't think he's got enough pace. And maybe Corbin Ong, you could say that. But but he look, his engine looks looks a little bit worse for wear today. But let's talk about uh, the goalkeeper. What a shit goal to let in at the 95th minute of the game. The 95th minute of the game. And you've, you've let in such a... The, he needs to get his hands on it. And he needs to get his hands on it. You've got to be ready to put sacrifice your hands on the line. I can understand that, you know, in a split like that, you know, he, he had he made an important save just five minutes before and he, he was injured actually just before that situation. But it's the last kick of the game. You have 30 seconds to survive it and he couldn't survive it. And it was just disappointing that, you know, he let it go like that. And if that was the first case, first complaint from myself about Shihan, you know, it'd be less worrying. But when I've seen him made errors against India, I've seen him made errors against Tajikistan, positioning-wise, where he should be, when I've seen him make errors against Kyrgyzstan where he dropped those two balls in the penalty box. Questions have got to be asked. Kim Pangon obviously likes him because he's always the first name to be brought on the starting list. He starts all the time for him. But there needs to be serious questions asked on that because I, as far as I can see, right, I don't rate him. We need a shot stopper. 
if you want him to be your sweeper keeper, I in this game, in fact, in this tournament alone, I cannot see anything that he adds to this team. I cannot see anything that he adds to contributes to this team in terms of you know high high line goalkeeper. He he doesn't he doesn't do a thing. And the reason why he's got probably more clean sheets than anybody is because his defense that he played for him was Jordi Amat and probably Sarusat just in front of him. And Sarusat might be on the bench for Johor. He plays for Johor when when you got Jordi Amat in front of you. You didn't see Jordi Amat. He was ready to put out everything for him. Yesterday against Indonesia. Today, and, and that's why he can survive for that long. He can survive for that long. In that defense, because he he doesn't have to do much. I could probably be the Johor keeper and and probably keep, well, probably less clean sheets than him. But Johor will still win the league, and I'll I'll probably still have more most of the clean sheets, uh, for Johor. You know, I could be the Johor keeper tomorrow. And it's just disappointing how how that is let in because if if he didn't have let that goal in. This, you know, we would have this this the tone of this video would have been so different. We we would have went into South Korea with with um with a chance, albeit a slim chance, but still a ch nonetheless a chance. When you look at the league table, you look at the group table at the bottom right of the screen. We can't we can't get ahead of Jordan mathematically. We can't get on Bari but ahead of Bari on head to head, and we can't get ahead of Korea head to head. So we can't. We have to be last in the group. So, it's very, very disappointing that uh, this has happened this way. Um, Malaysia, on reflection, I think there, there, there's a lot of positive. Uh, Dominic Tan, very, very um, good performance today. Cleared out two chances. His positioning is very well. For, for, the, for the shit that I gave him against Kyrgyzstan, where he was a bit slow, and, and Tajikistan, right? Where he was a bit slow as well, where he had a very underwhelming performance. He did really well tonight, and I think he should get man of the match for for Malaysia. He's the best player out there, in my opinion, tonight. Everything was spot on, perfect. But that's all. Oh, but giving him that is also my biggest issue. If you, and there's that saying, if you are giving your man of the matches to your centre backs and you've scored zero and you've con still conceded a goal and you've scored zero goals. It's not a very, very good performance in my opinion. Yes, there was a lot of resilience from there, a lot of retaliation from the Bahrain team. Maybe we just don't have the quality to be able to fight these uh these top Asian sides and Bahrain really did prove themselves a level uh above uh Malaysia. But come on. We need to be better than that, and ultimately, it's been a well. It's been a sad end to the Asian Cup, but it's also been quite expected as well because Malaysia, one of the lower ranked teams going to the tournament. You hope, you hope. In fact, you in fact you hope more than you expect something, and hopefully, we can use this. Um, I'd say confidence, but not really confident. Not really, but um, I hope we can bring bring this to. A lessons and build it up for the qualification round in uh, 27 which we've got four games to play we've got a good start to that and hopefully we can maintain something like that against um, you know Kyrgyzstan and Oman we've got tougher games to go in March and hopefully we can bring bring that on against them you know using team teams played against them learn a few lessons you know Kim Pangon I think need to be more flexible in his game he needs to be more flexible in his game. Rather than high line and stuff like that, you are going to get punished. At this level, you will get punished. And I, and I think he needs to know that as well. well. But what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to Talking Bola. Subscribe to my primary channel. Lots of Asian Cup streams to go. We, we're going to relax. Enjoy the competition. If you've enjoyed the watch long uh, video, please like, share and subscribe. I'm going to be going live from Malaysia against South Korea. That one is... a. Uh, 7 30 pm kickoff okay first time malaysia play south korea in my lifetime looking forward to that we have got something to prove even though we are out of this competition take care everybody see, see you soon